out of all the side quests that Final Fantasy IX has to offer, collecting the rare coffees and the mini figurines are perhaps not the most popular ones that most players do. Chocographs, ultimate weapons and super bosses are definitely well known, but Final Fantasy IX has more to offer. A fun little side quest that you can start as soon as you reach the village of Dali is the rare coffee and mini figurines quest. Both are two different side quests in the game, but are tied up together by the Prima Vista figurine, which we will cover in a minute. Before we begin, let me tell you that there will be some minor spoilers in this video, so you have been warned. To start this quest, you have to go to Dali's observatory and talk to Old Man Morid. He will tell you about his desire to taste different coffees from around the world. These are the Mocha coffee, the Kerman coffee and the Berman coffee. Morid tells you also that if you can manage to give him all three of those rare coffees, you can have the miniature version of the theatre ship Prima Vista, which you can see on his wall to the left. Mocha coffee can be found quite early after you leave Lendlum at South Gate near Chocobo Forest on the bottom right corner of the screen. For Kerman coffee, you will have to wait until you reach Disc 2 and arrive in Medane Suri. After you went through a few scenes with Aiko and her cooking, the Kerman coffee is free for the taking on the left side of the kitchen. While Mocha coffee and Kerman coffee can still be picked up later in the game, Berman coffee can only be picked up in Disc 3 during the card tournament portion of the main story. Before you start your last card battle against Sailor Eren, you need to make your way back to Dali's windmill and enter the Mayor's room. You then have to inspect the heater to receive the Mayor's key. After that, return to the windmill and open the door in the back. Through the door on the right, you will find the Berman coffee. So by this time in the game, you should have all three coffees in your possession, which means you can take a short trip to Morid as you are right next to his observatory anyway. After you gave him all three coffees, he will give you the mini Prima Vista. However, he will not actually physically give it to you, but send it to the Tantalus hideout. Strangely enough, you can only admire it in the hideout and not pick it up, but it still counts as having acquired the item. However, the figurine that you'll most likely get first is the mini Burmesia, which you can also find in the Tantalus hideout, but only this time it will be on top of the bed and can be gotten as early as in disc 1. The mini Sid can be bought as a one-time Trino auction item from disc 2 onwards, and the mini Bran can also be gotten in Dali in the Mayor's room, but you will have to inspect the desk instead of the heater to get that one. So the last figurine to get will be the Mini Prima Vista, but we've already covered this a minute ago. So that means you will have collected all coffees and all figurines. They don't really give you anything in the game, apart from giving you a nice boost to your Treasure Hunter rank. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so, as it helps out a lot in making more videos. Either way, I thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!